My name is Josiah Murigo. I'm a political analyst and I'm also a politician from Kirinyaga County. As a politician from Kirinyaga and the larger Mount Kenya region, I've gone around the region and I can tell you I've just come from Embu County. Over the weekend I've been in Embu County campaigning for one William Samoy Alapruto who is our presidential candidate in the Kenya Kwanza coalition. And uh, I can tell you for a fact that people received the news of the appointment of Rigathi Gashagua with a lot of, uh, with a lot of uh, excitement and a lot of happiness because they are saying uh, this is a man who has shown that he can deliver, this is a man who has shown that he can work, this is a man who has shown that he is his own self, he can do what he's supposed to do as a running mate. Remember, we are coming from the backdrop of a deputy president, the current deputy president, who has really been humiliated by the boss who is the president of the Republic of Kenya. And hence, Mount Kenya has been yearning for someone who is strong, someone who can do things and work out things, not only for the benefits of the people of Mount Kenya, but also for the benefits of this country. So for me and the people that I've interacted with in most parts of Mount Kenya, welcome the news of the appointment of one Honorable Rigathi Gashagua as the running mate for Honorable William Bruton. As the boss said, he is not there to humiliate his deputy president when they get into power come uh, 9th August this year. They are there to work out things for Kenya. You've seen that immediately Rigathi was appointed, he has started doing economic forums around the country. It means he wants to receive uh, information of what people expect of them as a duo when they get into power and also work out things that are dear to the hearts of many Kenyans. Also from Mount Kenya, I know there are these things we've been raising issues about. Uh, we want to see value for our coffee, value for our tea, value for our rice, macadamia, milk, and the rest. And this, if you have watched uh, forward tentatively, you see that Rigathi has been very vocal about some of these issues. And so we are very confident that Rigathi will deliver. Number two point, and the last one maybe, I worked with Rigathi when we were doing the Kiambaba elections. And uh, believe you me, I'm half his age. And any time you get to Kiamba in the morning, at around 6 a.m., you get Rigathi already in Kiamba campaigning for a candidate then, Kawajiko. So I'm telling you, this is a hard worker. And Rigathi will do the last meeting, which is our last meeting at around midnight, the same day. A guy would work for 18, 20 hours a day to deliver Kawajiko's victory. You remember they were accusing Kawajiko to be the son of Rigathi and he was saying, this, then I'm doing it for, for this. What am I saying? He is a hard worker. He is a go-getter. He will do what he believes in and he will deliver. So I'm very confident Rigathi was the best choice. And as we have been, been saying, we are not looking for, for gender. We are looking for an agenda for this country. Uh, that has been a smear campaign that has been done almost successfully by the, the current regime because the, when they realized William Ruto is the, is the favorite of most Kenyans, what they started to do, the system and the deep state and whatever else you would want to call them, they started as mere campaign against William Ruto. So far, ask yourself how many people have been uh, taken anywhere or jailed or done anything serious because they were accused of having done anything corrupt. What they started was a smear campaign just to spoil the name of, uh, of, of William Ruto and also it's like the way they steal in Nairobi. If you some uh, thief snatches your phone when you're in the streets of this city, uh, he starts shouting Mwizi 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 and by the time you are thinking with the Mwizi, he has already disappeared with your phone. That is what this regime did to William Ruto and to the amazement of so many people, people tend to believe. But ask yourself, what is this that William stole? Where and when? Ask yourself, what is this that Rigathi stole? Where and when? Why hasn't he been taken to any court of law? Where, how far is his case? Because they implicated some cases that they just told in the courts. Because there is no evidence, there is no case. They are just implicating people so that they smear, they spoil their names so that people, Kenyans would have doubts about them. Let me tell you, we are electing William Ruto and Rigathi Gashagua as our next government in this country. We are winning this, we are very confident, it's coming home. Uh, UDA is winning this as in the Kenya Kwanza coalition all over across the country. I would urge our people to remember to come out in large numbers and vote. What else happens after that, we are in charge. And we can tell you confidently, 
as our party leader has been saying uh, president William Ruto that CCC or kama hao CCC wa kuimbiwa kula so come out and vote we are winning this it's 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 almost assured we are winning on the first round and not the rest win 56 57 <laughs> Mohoro maria matoko nye Umemere kia wagi kiro kia igoro Mato e 